has some tea to spill and this time it's about one of the country's most beloved comedians Kevin Hart so Crystal thank you so much for being here looking forward to having this conversation oh my goodness I feel like we can't get out of 2023 without <laughs> yet another celebrity scandal yeah. and this one of course is Kevin Hart with the same blogger that we've been having scandals with throughout the year Tasha Kay did another interview this time with Kevin Hart's former assistant Maisha Shakes and she did this interview now the problem with this is Maisha Shakes his former assistant was under an NDA and mm. so allegedly uh, Kevin Hart's team received a call that if they did not pay $250,000, this entire interview with his former assistant would go live. I love the fact that Kevin Hart's team immediately called the authorities mm -hmm. and filed um, this lawsuit um, a few days ago. I had a chance to look over the lawsuit last night along with uh, business attorney Thelma Anderson and hip hop inquirer Dennis Byron. And there are five parts to this, uh, to this, to this lawsuit that Kevin Hart's uh, company filed. Number one is civil extortion, of mm -hmm. course, for the call about $250,000 delivered. Um, now, it's interesting to note on that, uh, Tasha K released a teaser to the interview. And in this teaser, at the end, she says, when they don't pay, we have to get the money by any means necessary. Oh. So that, that doesn't look good for her. Um, but the lawsuit, again, the first point is civil extortion. The second is a breach of contract. Um, referencing that NDA that Maisha Sheikh signed uh, with his team that was good for three years. Um, the third point is intentional interference with the contractual relations, which means that Tasha Kay basically had this interview, put it out knowing that his assistant was under an NDA. Um, the fourth is invasion of privacy, and the fifth is defamation. So I love the fact that his team reacted so quickly. Um, within the document, they did reference the fact that Tasha K uh, was a, was uh, found guilty of you know similar similar things uh, against Cardi B um, a few years ago and did uh, receive a three million dollar you know judgment against her. So it doesn't really look good for Tasha K. Um, it also doesn't look good for this former assistant Maisha Shakes that has kind of hitched her wagon uh, to the Tasha K train. Yeah. Well, let's also talk about though what she's claiming happened. This was a, a cheating scandal, correct? It was a cheating scandal, but the interesting thing is a lot of this Kevin Hart actually, you know, cop to in his Netflix documentary that came out in 2020, Don't Mess This, well, don't mess this Up. Um, and so a lot of it, she just reiterated that was already shared. And, and the attorney that I spoke with, Thelma Anderson, suggested that part of the reason um, that Maisha Shakes may have thought that she could, you know, share this information is because Kevin Hart himself shared a lot of it publicly in the documentary. Mm -hmm. And so if you're under an NDA, but you share something that is already on a public platform and public knowledge, then you cannot be held to uh, the NDA is, is null and void at that point. Yeah. And so. Yeah. Well, I don't mean to cut you off, Crystal because we could keep going on about this for a while as things like this keep happening. Just this month, we, we know we had the T.D. Jakes drama and all of those rumors. But well, I do want to say that people can keep up with all of the news with you by just following you on social media. You can follow her on Instagram at The Real Crystal George.